JavaScript strict mode was introduced into the JavaScript world with the release of ECMAScript 5. The syntax of use strict is a pragma that tells the browsers to change the way they execute JavaScript, which means they make several changes to normal JavaScript semantics. So essentially, strict mode is there to help us write better and more secured code leading to developers making less mistakes. Strict mode can be applied to entire scripts or to individual functions. It does not apply to block statements enclosed in curly brackets. The syntax was chosen specifically like this as to not interfere with older versions of ECMAScript 5 like ECMAScript 3 as there can be a coexistence between strict mode and non-strict mode code also sometimes referred to as a sloppy mode. Like in the following example, we have a function that uses strict mode and another one that does not. Now, if we execute the function, I don't use strict mode, we're going to get the log with no errors. But if we run the one with strict mode, we will get a reference error. Strict is not defined. And that is because strict mode is blocking us from adding properties to the global scope. We can also apply strict mode to the whole script. And at this time, even if we execute, I don't use strict mode, we will get the same error because now strict mode is applied throughout the whole script. Another way to add strict mode is by creating a module. Since ECMAScript 2015 introduced JavaScript modules, therefore, with their help, the entire contents of the JavaScript module are automatically opted into strict mode. Other types of error that we may encounter with strict mode are when we use the name of a read-only property from the global scope. For example, none or not a number. In this example, if we run this with strict mode on, we will immediately get an error saying cannot assign to read only property. In our next example, we see that function parameter names must be unique so that we avoid duplicating parameters. So in this function, we have a sum of three numbers and I have used the first number for the first and the second parameter of the function. And without strict mode, you can see that we have no error. But as soon as we add strict mode on, we get duplicate parameter name not allowed in this context. Other examples we can take a look at are are the octal numerical literals and octal escape characters. Now in this example, we're only gonna take a look at the octal numerical literals. So here we have number 41 represented in an octal literal. And if we run this without the strict mode, it will not show an error, but as soon as we add strict mode on, it will give us an error that octal literals are not allowed in strict mode. Now with ES6 and onwards, we can specify the octal literal by using the prefix of 0 followed by the sequence of the octal digits. And if we do that here and save it, you can see that even though we are in strict mode, we do not get any errors with this. Next, we can take a look at making attempts to delete an undeliverable properties like the prototype mechanism. If we don't use strict mode, this won't work. It will simply be ignored by the browsers. But with strict mode on, we would get an error cannot delete property prototype. We can take a quick look at a couple of more examples before we wrap up. Using strict mode when writing to a get only property is not allowed, you will get an error. And for security reasons, with eval, you're not allowed to create variables in the scope from which it was called. So in strict mode, eval creates variables only for the code that's being evaluated. So basically, it cannot affect whether a name refers to an outer variable or some local variable. And these were just a handful of examples that you may encounter during your development if you use strict mode on. Most of the browsers today implement strict mode. However, there are still some browsers out there that do not support it or only have a partial support. In general, strict mode is a good idea to use, of course, depending on your project and what engines you plan to run your app on. And we should always try to test our apps in browsers that do and do not support strict mode if our deployment scope intends us to do so. That is all for this one, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.